Welcome to my short presentation about uh, our project Belasica Beyond Borders, Transboundary Cooperation along the Balkan Green Belt. Uh, my name is Sandra Wigger and I'm a project manager at Euronature and I would like to give you a short overview of our project Belasica in the frame of the European Green Belt Initiative. First of all, I would like to give you a short overview about the European Green Belt Initiative. Um, the initiative started in 1989 with the fall of the former Iron Curtain, uh, the former border of um, East and West Europe. In 1989 and in the 90s, the first activities in different countries, for example in Germany, started, but they were not connected with, with each other, they were separate from each other. In 2002, the idea of the European Green Belt as a joint project was articulated for the first time um, and the initiative started in 2003. Here you can see uh, the European Green Belt. Um, it runs uh, through 24 countries and it has a, a length of around 12,500 kilometers. For a better organization, it is divided in four sections. All in the north, we have the Fenoscandian Green Belt, and then there is the Baltic Green Belt, uh, the Central European Green Belt with uh, Germany in it, and all the way in the south, there is the Balkan Green Belt. Uh, we have uh, in this initiative uh, different levels. Uh, we have the pan-European level, which includes all 24 countries. Um, and we do activities like the Pan-European Green Belt conferences in this frame. Also, there are the regional levels um, containing the different sections, for example, the Balkan Green Belt. Um, therefore, um, every region has a, a regional coordinator. Euronature is at the moment uh, the regional coordinator for the Balkan Green Belt part. And of course, um, there's also the local level where we have different activities and sites um, along the um, European Green Belt. One important point uh, um, regarding the initiative is also the European Green Belt Association. Um, the association was founded on the 24th September 2014 in Slavonice in the frame of the 8th Pan-European Green Belt Conference. Uh, currently, the association has 29 members from 15 countries, um, including the Bulgarian Biodiversity Foundation, which is also part of the Belasica um, project. Um, the board of the association has seven members, including also BBF. Um, Your Nature is currently the chair of the board, and IUCN is a consultant for the association and the initiative. I would like to show you also the vision of the European Green Belt um, because it is also the vision for um, every kind of project along the European Green Belt, including Belasica. Um, the European Green Belt is our shared nature heritage along the former Iron Curtain. It is to conserve and to restore the function as an ecological network um, with a high value nature and cultural landscapes. It was developed in May 2013 and um, in the frame of the European Green Belt, um, one um, really pretty pearl is Belasica. Here you have a really nice overview um, of the Belasica mountain range. Um, Belasica is um, located in the border area of Bulgaria, Macedonia and Greece. Um, the forest in the area is known for their chestnut trees. Also, it is a really important migratory area for birds. Um, there are some uh, protected areas in Belasica. For example, on the Bulgarian side, Belasica is a nature park. On the um, Greece side, we have the net nature National Park Lake Kakini. It is well known for the pelican breeding sites and also uh, the Greece area has a lot of Ramsar sites. Now some details uh, about the project. 
Um, the duration of the project is January 13 to September 16, so uh, the project is almost finished. Um, the association partners uh, in the Belasica project are uh, Euronature and the Bulgarian Biodiversity Foundation. Um, also, the Belasica Nature Park Directory is part of the project, as well as the Lake Kakini National Park Management. And um, also a local organization at Mazenonia with the name Environmental Association Planetum. Here you have an um, overview of the region around Belasica. Now I come to the objects uh, of the project. Um, the aim of the project is to foster the transboundary cooperation along um, all three countries. Um, also to contribute to the conservation of the high value nature uh, in Belasica as well as to create awareness in the local population about the potential and the opportunities um, with the high nature in Belasica. Now the uh, activities focused on the following points. In the first place, they focus on the environmental education of especially the local persons and um, the sustainable nature-based tourism. I would like to give you an insight of some of the selected activities in the frame of the project. Um, first of all, um, the International Youth Camp. Uh, it happened during the project three times in three different years and one in each country, in Bulgaria, Macedonia and Greece. Uh, in total, they had uh, 42 participants. And uh, during the camp, the young people learned about the natural and cultural as aspects of the region. Uh, for example, they visit areas um, which are specifically uh, for the region, for example, waterfalls, they are really famous um, in the Belasica region. A second um, activity is a joint catalogue of ecotourism services and products. Um, the catalogue contains a total of 39 sites and services and it was published uh, in February 2015. It was published in English language, so it's uh, also useful for all kind of visitors for the Belasica region, not only for the local people. And it includes information, for example, about accommodation, context and tourist attractions. Um, also, there was in the middle um, picture, you see um, a photo exhibition. This was also um, in the frame of the project and uh, in the um, Velasica website, you can find information about uh, the current location of the photo exhibition as well as, as uh, about the joint catalogue. The next activity is the training of nature guides. Um, in the pictures down, you can see the different uh, types of training. Uh, on the left, uh, you have uh, the practice. And in the next ones are on the field where they actually guided um, some visitor groups. The training was uh, three days in 2014 and it was uh, only local um, young people in total 16 participants who were trained as nature guides. And um, some of them are now um, active and you can find the profile of the nature guides at the Belastica homepage and they can um, be booked for tours. Uh, another activity was the International Forum. It was on November 2015. Um, they, um, the project partners presented uh, all activities during the project, uh, but also they um, presented the possibilities for Biosphere Reserve in Belasica as a future opportunity for the local people. Um, also, there were guest speakers from Germany. We had Mrs. Domnik from the Common Warden Sea Secretariat and Ms. Mali Wischoff, uh, a freelance expert in sustainable tourism. And they showed um, potential opportunities for the further development of the Belasica region. And one important um, 
issue during the um, conference was the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding by all project partners um, to continue the environmental protection and sustainable development of the Balasitsa region. In the pictures, you can see the um, four partners signing the Memorandum of Understanding. This was a short overview um, of the Belasica, one of um, the really important parts along the Balkan Green Belt. In this map you can uh, find Belasica in, in number 15. Um, it is one of the most important ones because it's a, a, it's a border area of three uh, countries. And um, in total we identified 29 parts um, along the Balkan Green Belt. Thank you very much for your attention. And this is again a really beautiful view of the Belasica mountain.